A Star Is Born is finally out now in Australia after being out for a few weeks in the US. This marks the fourth remake of the 1937 original film with this version starring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga, with Bradley Cooper making his directorial debut. This likely isn't the last remake of this film that we're going to see. Hollywood obviously loves coming back to it, so we'll probably see another version of it in another 30 years or so. But if you are familiar with previous versions, then story-wise, this movie isn't a huge leap from those previous versions. However, I think you'll find Bradley Cooper does a much better job at executing the narrative than, say, the Barbara Streisand sand version. Blasphemy you might say. But Bradley Cooper does a great job at shaping the story to fit today's music industry and the climate we now have about mental illness. So it feels like the perfect time to be telling the story. If you're unaware, this film follows Bradley Cooper as Jackson Maine, an alcoholic country musician who falls in love with this young singer, Ali, played by Lady Gaga, and he helps transform her into a huge music star. What I really love is Bradley Cooper's ability to keep things feeling authentic, despite still falling into some rom-com trappings that can make the film feel a little cliche at times. Every big music Music number in the film feels like you're at a concert, there in the flesh, up on stage with the characters. It rejects being too self-indulgent with the concert scenes, instead opting to keep things feeling personal and from the character's perspective. This at times means you only see bits of a concert, or the concert will be mentioned in dialogue, but the movie does this to keep everything moving forward. My only issue with this however is that some scenes don't feel fleshed out enough, and at times the star as well can feel like moments stitched together, rather than having scenes that feel complete, and can result in some very sudden emotional turns from characters. There's definitely something to be said about about setting up a scene, and sometimes I felt like the movie at times jumped in halfway through a scene, where it would have been nice to have gotten a little more context beforehand. The movie is two and a half hours long, and I can understand Bradley Cooper wanting us to expect to know how characters are feeling, so as just to keep things moving. But it can come as a detriment to giving scenes more emotional weight when needed, particularly during the second act. The first and third acts of the film are definitely the strongest parts, with a lot of the big emotional beats saved for the end of the film. I would have liked perhaps a bit more time with Lady Gaga rising up as the star, as the best moments in the movie are when her and Bradley Cooper are together, writing and practicing lyrics, and Gaga's character becoming more confident in herself. But a lot of the cast are phenomenal in their roles. The characters don't shy away from their flaws, and both lead actors bring it when the characters are facing their darker moments and the big joyous moments. Bradley Cooper feels authentic as a musician struggling with mental illness, where well, you could probably swap him out for someone like Kurt Cobain, and you'd be able to recognize that struggle. So I am very glad that Bradley Cooper paid a lot of attention to that darker side of the industry. Hollywood can often gloss over depression and addiction, but Bradley Cooper Cooper really makes sure that struggle is seen for what it is on screen. Oh, and he is a great singer. It's really something to be able to act, but also be able to sing opposite a megastar like Lady Gaga. Because let's face it, when you get someone like Lady Gaga to be that powerhouse singer for your film, she becomes the talent that you expect her to be. In A Star Is Born, she essentially gets to play herself. Her character's career feels pretty close to her own career, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Actors playing themselves gets knocked down quite often, but it gives someone like Lady Gaga a chance to dig deep into their own personal experience and bring that to the big screen. Yes, she doesn't transform into a completely different person. She is as you would expect Lady Gaga to be, especially when she is up on the stage singing. But the most impressive thing about her performance is that she brings it in the dramatic scenes and never feels out of place. Again, it feels authentic. But I do wish more time had been spent on her character building up her confidence. As once she becomes a star, it's the Lady Gaga who's performed thousands of gigs. It's also not quite the rags to riches tale some people might be expecting, as Lady Gaga's character isn't exactly facing hardship. She's still fairly well off where she lives with her father and has a pretty decent job even though her boss is kind of a dick to her. The real standout in the film to me is Sam Elliott, who plays Bradley Cooper's older brother in the film. I've been a big fan of Sam Elliott since The Big Lebowski, and my god is he excellent here. The scenes that really got me were when he had to be the voice of reason while trying to keep himself composed. He just had the gravitas that brought so much emotional weight to the film. I really hope he gets recognised come awards season time. A Star Is Born is a strong directing debut from Bradley Cooper, even if it does get let down by some cliches. That can't always be helped because again, this is the fourth remake of A Star Is Born. Bradley Cooper has shown now that he can be a powerhouse director. And by his second film, I think perhaps some of the pacing issues and structural issues of scenes will have been reworked thanks to his experience here. There are some excellent songs in the film as well, and I would suggest avoiding seeing any of them posted online and just waiting till you've seen the film, as some of the uploaded music videos do get a bit spoilerish. A Star Is Born is certainly worth giving a go. A Star Is Born gets a 7.8 out of 10 from me. Guys, I hope you liked this review. If you want to see more reviews just like this one, stay right here for your money fix. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.